Hey everyone, Kibler with uh, some more new Throne of the Tides action, this time with Shadow Priest. When uh, I was going through the Throne of the Tides uh, mini set uh, spoilers, one of the cards that really stood out to me was Drown. I was a huge fan of Entomb back in the day um, as just kind of a uh, worry-free removal spell for a lot of priest decks, and Drown most of the time is just way better than Entomb was. Um, and specifically, being a shadow spell means you actually have a reasonably efficient way to remove individual large minions um, from your opponent's board when you're playing a shadow priest. So I kind of wanted to try a mid-range style of shadow priest uh, because you have this very powerful removal tool available to you. Uh, and with the buff to uh, shadow cloth needle going from two cost to one cost, it's a lot easier to use uh, your uh, shadow spells as kind of AoE removal as well as damage to your opponent's face. Uh, I, the first version that I tried uh, was a Naga version. Uh, I, I was thinking that, okay, I wanted to try using the uh, Shadow Touch Attendant or Void Touch Attendant to be a little bit more proactive against potential like combo control style decks uh, and you know use the spell-based synergies that you have from a lot of the Naga as well. Um, that deck was okay, but it felt like a lot of the uh, a lot of the Naga stuff um, wasn't really that powerful uh, f with that shell. It wasn't I didn't feel aggressive enough um, in order to take advantage of like the Void Touch attendants, for instance. In some matchups, they they feel like they'd be actively detrimental um, because you're not that fast. You're not like hyper aggressive like the old school versions of uh, Shadow Priest with uh, Benedictus were uh, in the previous expansion. So I wanted to try um, a, a different deck uh, that was more of a mid-range Death Rattle version. That's specifically due to uh, Amulet of the Undying, as well as Call the Grave. Call the Grave is a one-cost shadow spell, has a lot of great synergy with Shadow Cloth Needle, allows you to, to cheaply use your sort of uh, AoE removal damage from that card, as well as helping to enable stuff like uh, Amulet of the Undying or Zarella, um, the hero card to allow you to play a, a powerful, like, long game uh, against a lot of decks. And in particular, uh, Zarella alongside Moark Forge Fiend and uh, Plated Beetle and potentially uh, additional copies of those from Amulet of the Undying or from Call the Grave can give you a lot of armor against a lot of these burst damage combo style decks. And that has a, a lot of potential to, you know, give you the breathing room to actually end up... Uh, being able to to take down those uh, those combo decks, uh, while, while also of course having the ability to continuously pressure them with your uh, death rattle minions that can be awkward for them to remove, like Korok the Blood Rager, uh, Mita Pure Light, as well as of course uh, using Amulet to bring those back and have these you know powerful boards. All, all alongside, of course, the reason that I built the deck in the first place, Drown, giving you a strong tool to deal with what might otherwise be difficult minions for you to remove as a sort of mid-range controlling priest deck. So anyway, here we go. Shadow Priest back again. Let's take a look. You know what? Sure. Get him. Hope you don't mind me saying so. You look really good with your hair down. Why, thank you. I, too, think I look really good. <laughs> a reckless here? Okay, not a reckless. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Great. Super inefficient for them to be doing this. We'll just play Treasure Guard. 
I think I am gonna amalgam the treasure guard. Shadow Priest Killer's gone to the dark side. It's mid-range Shadow Priest, so... Oh, boy. Yep. Mistakes are part of life. Okay. Well, really, obviously, I want to kill this. If we like call the grave and hit like a um, explosive sheep, we can clear it for sure. Let's start here. Hmm. Yeah, Snapdragon uh, is apparently very bugged. It buffs heroes and weapons. This is Celeste. They didn't speed it up, actually. They might have, but the Celeste, Celeste has always just not had the uh, the same animation, weirdly. There's my other Ashara. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's gross. And it casts with all the fire. The hero power is doing how much now? Four. Come, pray with me. How is Shadow Breeze working out? This is like one of my first games. It's okay. Who here can spell Zinjari? Pick me, pick me! Okay, you have amalgams in hand. Hmm. You're just gonna get Reckless Apprentice slash Mordrushed into oblivion. Mm-hmm. Should they buff Benedict's and work with spells without schools? Eh, I don't think they need to do that. I, I mean, starting with Shadow Form is extremely powerful, and having it be... Having it be, uh... More... Uh, available, I don't think is actually a good thing. Okay... We have plotted long enough. Now we rise. Not great, but they can actually get their hero power up to eight by killing this awkwardly. And they still have another reckless and more drush. spells that's getting them. They had first flame, second flame, big knight, at least. Oh, they just drew that ignite. Okay. Sure. 
And their hero power is now 8 damage, right? I'm at 35, though. Or 33. Do I just go for... I think I just go for another here. My other option is, like, Brand School Teacher. Brand School Teacher could be really good, actually. What's Brand School Teacher? Especially because I have the Amalgam. These aren't very good. I guess one of them on this. Sure. Pick me, pick me. Pick me, pick me. I don't have enough We're either getting more dreshed or reckless. Either one is, you know, AoE that blows up our entire board. <laughs> or we not, somehow. They used to now have neither of those, even after that. Okay, great. Let's start here. I guess just this? We have plotted long and tough. Now we rise! You will be crushed beneath the endless tide! It isn't often I will repress. Alright. They can still just, again, like, more direction to reckless me. I'm at 33, though. But the hero power being 8 damage, you know? Okay, well. Looks like we're not getting hero power. We're not getting reckless or Mordrushed. And they don't seem to have another siren. Mm hmm. Yep. I can ping one devour. I can't play the Mita then though. How much mana base? I know it's spell. Not that much. Nope. I don't know. I don't even know what the answer is. Oh, it's apparently actually more than I thought. Okay, cool. Well, no, that's actually not good. Yeah, we're just gonna play this and ping too. Because that actually just blocks into the sword. I want the Divine Shield here. I have ramen, folks. Oh. Is it? Nice. I have Delivery Ramen. Courtesy of Olivia. Thank you. Barrier. Where are my... My things that... Like the AoE thing. I guess we're not damaging their face anymore. Pretty quickly. We're not gonna attack. Okay. There's the Shadow... Okay, that was like... I was like, where is Shadow Cloth Needle? I feel like I've been looking for this this whole time. So let's Shadow Cloth Needle... Drown this guy. Shoot your face. Cast Devouring Plague. Oh, actually, oh, did, I screwed that up. I need to do this first. Oh, and they conceded. Okay. What a weird game. I certainly did not think I was winning that game. I was also just like, is there even Shadow Cloth Needle in my deck? Because I hadn't drawn it, but there it was. I don't think I have enough spells for this to be good right now. Hi, Tom. Mmm, ramen. Obey and prosper. Okay, they are quest. My blood for war. Hey! 
Hey, Tom with the five gift subs. Thank you, Tom. You are very generous. Good, sir. These are for Olivia. Please give her something. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Noted, Tom. With somewhere to go. I feel like I need to let the, the, the noodles. You know, I will. I will acquire kinda, you ramen the next time you're here. This is particularly excellent. It's prepaid. Perfect. Done. <laughs> Poggers. Right back at you, Tom. Anybody? Um. Yeah. Someone asked if you're wearing wig. No. <laughs> He's got enough hair. I think I do just trade into this so that they can't. Well, they really want to play a four. Maybe I do just tag their face. Good. Void shard me like that. Unacceptable. Is that a discovered void shard? Or was that just in their deck? Okay, it was discovered. Play Crush Claw. We'll plague that guy. Locked up with somewhere to go. Ooh, they're not they're not getting a five off. That's good. Thanks, Jabuniki. Okay. Let's I'm gonna do this. Get him! So, it's not very easy for them to get through this. If they do play, like, Light Shower, we have Drown for it. Yep. So first, I'm gonna cast... Actually, no, because I have... Ooh, okay, yes. I'm gonna cast Call the Grave. I will get a Korok. I'm gonna play Void Touched. I'm gonna Drown this and hit them for, like, a billion. Because each of these is plus two, thanks to the Void Touched. So they're on to five, don't get the death rattle of their guy, and my board is gross. <laughs> Great hair stream. Great hair stream. <laughs> my last name's Scottish or Irish. Kibler? Kibler is German. My middle name is is uh Scotch Irish. It's McCormick, but Kibler is German. Boom! I'm not his sister or roommate. Oh my god, they were roommates. So I don't know if this is an actual demon hunter or a rogue. My blood boils for war. Okay, it is demon hunter. Probably fell. Hmm. Probably one of their slither spear, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Ow. Nerf multi strike still good. For that, at least. Okay. Fortunately, they can't multi can hit this. So if we needle thrive and hit a um, call the grave, we clear them. But we definitely have to play needle. Yeah. Needle thrive. Oh wait, I have never mind. I can just play the other thrive. We'll take void shard. Yeah, we'll take void shard. 
And now we're casting this Thrive. We'll take Devouring Plague. Okay, great. I like the not doing anything there. Double predation? Gross. Okay. I'm gonna void shard your face. Hero power this. Oh boy! Oh boy! Zalagnaros! Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, I guess this is probably my best option. We, we can't Ashara into the Colossal yet anyway, because we have to it's four more mana after you play Ashara before you get your Colossal. What a fine and fully intact. They're basically on brand school teacher for like AoE. You can hit, um, am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. Yep. That kills me. Yep. We got the Lagnaros. But yeah, I don't think I like the, I don't think I really like the, um, the Naga stuff going on in here. I feel like I don't have enough spells to consistently activate them. A lot of them are kind of clunky. I do like the idea of having some ability to, like, lean aggressive in matchups where you want that, but I feel like it's not really working out. 